I'm going to uh, show you in this PowerPoint how the star nations are traveling to your planet. Many people are not aware of how the other galaxies exist. There is, in the center here, where the white light is, this Milky Way galaxy. To the top of it is 25,000 years, and you see a little line that says a total of 50,000, and to the bottom is 25,000 years. You have the blue light that is around the purple. These are X-ray emissions, and the purple or magenta these are gamma ray emissions. This particular X-ray and gamma ray are at the far end of the visible light scope. The violet, ultraviolet rays are there, and then you go into gamma rays. Now, what's happening with the gamma rays in the galaxies is a lot of the gamma rays are coming from off-planet. They're coming from other galaxies. So what you cannot see is what a gamma ray looks like. There's a Fermi telescope in Tucson, Arizona that does nothing, well, it does a lot more, but predominantly measures gamma rays. And these gamma rays, they're very, very, very excited about them. They've spent years gathering the information, and it came out in 2010, of the gamma rays that are coming from other galaxies that are reaching the Milky Way system, which is our galaxy here right now. And it's okay, I'll find out, you'll find out what this has to the price of tea in China. It does all fit together. I, okay. All right, the Fermi telescope reveals in this particular picture, and these are all from NASA, these energy bubbles these energy bubbles are emitted from the Milky Way, and there is supposed to be sort of a black hole, but they say there's no real evidence of a black hole in the center of the Milky Way. And in this galactic center that you see here in this particular picture, you will notice that there's white, and then there's orange, and then there's sort of black, and there's blue, and there's purple. Well, the blue are the X-rays, the purple are the gamma rays, the darker are the black holes, the white and orange are emissions of, of energy. And often, this is called a gamma ray bubble, and this, this we're going somewhere with this, don't worry, it isn't all mumbo jumbo. And this gamma ray bubble carries an energy out from the center of the Milky Way. Okay. Now, there is a thing called a black hole, and you're all familiar with black holes. Black holes basically are supposed to suck in matter and energy from the universe. What you have in this picture is it would make a beautiful piece of art, except this is actually, these are actually NASA photos. Um, you have in this picture a black hole, you have energy spiraling out one way and energy spiraling out another. All right, so these black holes are rotating and they're connected to a white hole by a wormhole. And it is theorized that when these two energies connect, that you, in essence, have parallel universes. Now, black holes suck in energy, white holes emit out energy. So with the white hole, you have the creation of new energy. And the reason NASA is so excited about this is basically what you're saying here is new creation of life, um, galaxies that we weren't even aware existed up until two years ago. So how could you have seen the star people? They just got the telescope. <laughs> so, so these two universes are connected by this wormhole. And basically, when you go into your ascension process, you have a parallel universe. And science has said there is potential for a parallel universe. 
So metaphysics isn't so far off, are we? All right, so these two universities are connected their horizon by a wormhole. And this particular bridge, or wormhole, if you will, between these two universes, this is called the Einstein-Rosen theory and the Einstein-Rosen bridge. And this connects these energies. Okay. Now, there was a physicist from Mexico, and I may not be saying his name correctly. Forgive me, those of you that might know his name. Uh, Miguel, uh, Miguel Algubieri. And he derived a theory called a drive theory that said basically that in this wormhole, there's a tunnel that goes through space-time that can connect two distant points in space. And at the center of this, and you saw that photo of the Milky Way galaxy and that white light type of bubble, there's a thing called a warp bubble. And this warp bubble can carry energy at light speed and even beyond. So what you're talking about is the ability to use beyond warp speed, beyond light speed, to travel from one planet to another, from one galaxy to another. And if you can travel faster than 186,000 miles per second, faster than the speed of light, then you're talking about traveling through time. So we, and this also is from NASA, so we now have scientific proof that in theory, if in nothing else, there is scientific validation and documentation for space travel, for interdimensional travel, and for, oops, time travel. And there's also documentation of potential parallel universes. So we now are out of the realm of conjecture and debating, and it's kind of interesting that science took this long to catch up with us, because you guys knew that all along, didn't you? <laughs> so NASA finally says, okay, fine, you're right. So, so we now have this warp bubble that can potentially carry a craft, a spacecraft, faster than the light, the speed of light. To attend or live stream the summer 2013 Star Knowledge Gathering, go to starknowledgeconference.com.